This video is brought to you by Raycon. It seems as if we are approaching a new era of comic book to video game adaptations. In what way? Well, I've got a Suicide Squad video game coming up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Miles Morales is coming to the PlayStation 5. Marvel's Avengers is coming out and people hate it already. There's things <laughs> happening, things shifting. Leave a like. Oh, like a new era. Like a new era, for oh, example. Why didn't you say that? Why didn't you say there was a new era coming in video games? <laughs> well, look, enough about new eras. Yeah, they yuck, aren't they? Let's talk about old eras because I want to go through certain specific characters and then we've got to determine what we feel is the best video game that represents them. I'm excited. Now, obviously, there are people who will disagree with this. I can't imagine who. Mm -hmm, but some mm -hmm. people do have different opinions. They should leave them in the comments, leave I Leave them in the comments. All opinions are valid. And that game that you really like, we did mention it. Is that it? We didn't mention it. You just weren't you listening. Want, you need to pay more attention. Pay more attention. Maybe send the video to a friend and ask them to listen out for it. And leave a like, And obviously. leave a like, yeah. obviously, yeah. So before you type, I can't believe that you didn't. We did. Yeah, we did. Come on. We did, and we like it as much as you. We've done extensive research on this. You can run and run and run and run and run and run and round and round and run and run. Okay, do you want to start with Spider-Man? Yes. Now, we're not going to hit on every game, or we are, but here's, here's, some, <laughs> here's some standout ones that okay. I feel. So there's a bunch of beat-em-ups in the 90s, which people loved. Mm -hmm. you know, your maximum carnages, your separation anxieties. We've done a few of them for Caravan mm, and Garbage. Your maximum anx anxieties. Exactly. That's bloody 2020, am I right, Mason? Uh, you're not wrong, buddy. Those aren't the best, though. I uh, think they're, they're fun kind of They're standard throwbacks. issue, you know? Yeah. I think there's some good Game Boy Advance stuff. Mm -hmm. I always liked the Spider-Man 1 game on that. I really liked Mysterio's Menace. It was a really fun Oh, yeah, I remember Mysterio's Menace, yeah. And then, of course, you got your more modern 3D ones. This isn't really modern, but the Spider-Man PS1 game. <laughs> Web of Shadows I quite like. Shattered Dimensions people enjoy. Games like that. Spider-Man teaches you typing. Spider-Man teaches you typing. Spider-Man teaches you mathematics. But his fingers get stuck to the calculator <laughs> keys. He can't do it properly, yeah. Spider-Man, you're just Peter Parker wearing your sweater vest and you've got to hold beakers and put <laughs> stuff in beakers in science class, but the bullies are coming and they're slapping you on the back and stuff. Exactly. The game. The game. The it's mobile game. Yeah, and of course you've got Ultimate Spider-Man and the movie adaptations of the Amazing Spider-Man movies, they're, they're not terrible either, but really what I feel this comes down to and mm -hmm. correct me if I'm wrong, it's Spider-Man 2 or Spider-Man PS4. It's absolutely, it's, it's neck and neck. Mm. For some people, not for me, for me, it's Spider-Man PS4. So, I mean, look, there is no Spider-Man PS4 without Spider-Man 2, obviously. I definitely sunk more hours into Spider-Man 2. I love the world building. Mm -hmm. I love the web swinging. I think one thing it definitely does better than the newer one is that there's fall damage. Oh, yeah, sure, that'll happen, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And there is more kind of, when you're swinging, there is more finesse to it. There's more okay. effort involved. Mm -hmm. Whereas Spider-Man PS4, you can just kind of go and it's effortless. It still looks cool and it's still fun, but it doesn't have that kind of same kind of trick system, I feel. But it's still Spider-Man PS4 for me. And you can punch a guy off a building. Punch a guy so hard off the building. It's got pretty good boss battles as well. It's got a great story. It's got a Peter Parker that looks like a blend of all the Peter Parkers somehow. You can get the Spider-Man outfit that's just his underpants and a bag on his head. <laughs> that's right. And what else do you want? That's it. That's all I've ever wanted. So is that definitively the game? I think it is, James, yeah. This is the game, but if people have other opinions, we also share that opinion, don't we? <laughs> that's absolutely right. Do you want to do Hulk? Yes. We could talk about Ultimate Alliance. You know those games people love? Right, people do love those games, don't people they? People love those games. Mm. And we have we, we share whatever you We have opinions is. of those games also, <laughs> yeah. The, the Ultimate Alliance 3 came out some time ago. That's people, right. People are digging it. They're on board. I think people aren't as big a fan of that as they are the previous two. But uh, there's a Hulk 2003 game uh -huh. where you're both Eric Banner the Hulk and the Hulk yes. the Hulk. Huh. There's the Incredible Hulk movie game. Mm -hmm. Some people love, you know, there's those... Sega did a bunch of oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. games mm -hmm. and yep. none of them are great. Except one we'll talk about in particular. And there's the Incredible Hulk. Bruce Banner is in anger management class. Exactly. Just, just, just various rising meters. <laughs> he's just going through aspects of his life. Maybe he's pouring something into a beaker. It's a bully slapping him on the back. Ow! You just see him. He's, he's, he's just seething. Also, they didn't actually, they didn't program the Hulk in, so you can never transform. Yeah, you never. Yeah, it's just it's... a Bruce Banner game. Yeah. <laughs> At the end, you get to the end and it's like, this was before Bruce Banner was hit by the gamma bomb. <laughs> he was just mad. He was never going to turn into the Hulk, you idiots. <laughs> so Thanks for your 60 bucks. <laughs> Again, we've done a video on this, but it's for me, it's ultimate destruction. It's a solid game. Feel? Yeah, it's a really good game. Yeah, it's uh, the destruction is in the name, and they yep. are not kidding. You can and destruction is in the game. That's right. Yeah, yeah. you can surf a bus in it. You flatten it out. You <laughs> surf it. 
I mean, you can get almost any vehicle and rip it in half and use each half as a boxing glove exactly. if you want to. Those guys went on to make Prototype, which is sort of a superhero game in its mm-hmm. own right. But we're not talking about those kinds of games. We're talking That's about right. comic book adaptations. Any objections, Mason? Absolutely not. I know we looked at a Hulk platformer as well for Caravan of Garbage, remember? Nope wasn't very good. Then that's probably why I don't remember. But we looked at it. This is an interesting one because there's such a variety. Already? I feel like you're going to weigh in a lot in this in a big way. Okay. X-Men. Oh, yeah. So you could do like your X-Men Legends games. How about, do you remember the X-Men arcade game? I was going to say X-Men arcade game. Six-player cabinet. 1992. Cyclops. Jean Grey. No Wolverine. No Just Wolverine's kidding, in isn't it. He's got, I was going to say, you, don't, don't, you really made me mm. question my own memories there and I went into a spiral. A Sentinel's like half the screen at some point. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you think that is standard platforming stuff for the era or do you think it rises above the I other I remember it being a cut the above. There were yeah. certain games of that era. The Ninja Turtles game, I think, yep. was a cut above. Yep. And had cert- they had a certain smoothness and a certain polish to them. Yes. That uh, I, think, I think put them above... The rest of the dross. I love the art style as well. Mm-hmm, yeah. It's so comic booky. Brown Wolverine. That's oh why you don't God, see that that's often. That's the most comic book thing you'll ever know. Mm-hmm. There's also a bunch of, obviously, X Men fighting game crossovers. That's true, yeah. I mean? mm-hmm, yep. I'm not a huge fan of those. I know you are more. Oh, than I, liked, me, yeah. I liked them back in the day, sure, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And they, they'll bring one out every now and then and be like, what about this? And I'm like, there's a lot of lasers on this screen. I don't <laughs> right? I don't understand it. Uh, yeah. But I know people are huge fans. For me, I think it's uh, X Men Classroom Simulator. <laughs> All the X Men. They're in sweater vests. They're holding beakers. <laughs> they're, they're pouring beakers. Just to be clear, there is no character that I cannot do this weird, dumb thing that I've settled on. I'm, I'm excited to see just, how just, it plays out. Yeah, yeah, all right. For me, it's X-Men Origins Wolverine. Yeah. Uh, but, mm-hmm. it, but that arcade thing, though, maybe it's that. What do you think? Look, I think, I reckon maybe Origins holds up for repeated plays, maybe. Maybe the... I don't know if it does, though. Okay, then to, maybe it's yeah. the arcade I game. Might say the, I was going to say Origins, yeah. and I like, again, we've done a video yeah. on it. I like that game, but... Yeah, yeah. But for pure, I think, comic book yes. action, I think maybe the arcade game has it, because, again, they're, it's pulling no punches, it's no... It, it's not holding back because something about the X-Men universe is too weird. Yeah. It's just like... Up, nope, chuck it it's in. All colours and yeah, yeah. fighting mm-hmm. all the time. Okay, mm-hmm. fair enough. And we have the same opinion as people watching this, don't we? That's true. I love ads. And I love Raycon earbuds. Because they start at half the price of other premium wireless earbuds that are on the market. Celebrities like Snoop Dogg, Melissa Etheridge, Brandy, they're all obsessed with them. Because they sound just as amazing as other top audio brands that you know. And they're so great for working from home, working out, listening to music and podcasts for hours without driving your roommates, significant others, children or neighbours completely crazy. Their everyday E25 earbuds are the best model yet with six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass and a more compact design that give you a nice noise isolating fit. They also come in fun new colours. So if you're interested, which you should be, because they're great, you can click the link in the description to get 15% off your order. Or just head over to buyraycon.com slash Mr. Sunday Movies. What a great ad. Let's do the rest of the video. Now, we've got Superman games here, but really, we're going to do least worst. Yep. Uh, we've got Shadow of Apocalypse. Some people like that one. Justice League Heroes, again, we've looked at. People like that one. Death of Superman, the side-scrolling game, which we once recorded for Caravan of Garbage, but I never put it out because I'm like, this is a nothing <laughs> video. So it's yeah, just right. sitting in my computer being it's like, just... I'll wait till Nick Mason dies and then I'll charge for it. He'll be like, this Please. is the yeah. episode we never released. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it was really kind of profound when you think about it. <laughs> kind of thin on the ground for Superman releases. Then, Obviously, so, 64 yeah. is terrible. Yep. But for me, you then you have to look to the Injustice games, or Mortal Kombat versus DC. That's right. Also, it's the same for Wonder Woman because she doesn't have a solo Wonder Woman game. Even Aquaman has even, one. Yeah, even <laughs> even post, you know, the, the great reviews of the Wonder Woman movie, they weren't like, yeah, let's, let's chuck her in something. Let's chuck her in a side-scroller. Yeah, you know? she's in team-based stuff, but yeah. Let's no, chuck her in a mobile game, not even that. She's probably in a mobile game. M- mobile game, World War One trench run. <laughs> Holding beakers. Yep, that's exactly right. <laughs> Wearing a sweater vest. It was that era. <laughs> Because there was the woman with the chemist in the movie. She had yes, yes, the poison. Yes. That's, what, that's what's in the beakers. Yep. Whatever, yeah. we, we, we tied it together eventually. Is it Injustice for you, for Superman? I like two, but it might be the outfit yeah. that I enjoy so much. Maybe Superman would have been ripe for like one of those Telltale games. Yeah, right. Or it was more telling a story than an action game. Oh, yeah. Who wants to play as Superman <laughs> when you could watch him in a story, Mason? All right, you got me there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think it's Injustice 2 yeah. for me. Okay. I think that's the superior game. Uh-huh. But Injustice 1 is also... 
a terrific game. It's just a shame we've never had just a really good version of just a classic Superman, though. Not a not a not an oh, evil Superman, variant. Superman Returns, a video game. Oh yeah, perfect. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a good one. You can walk. You can punch. We did a video. Sometimes on Sometimes you can heat vision, I guess. Yeah. So if they if it lets you. Yeah. Yeah. Then you got your NES stuff and your Master System ones. Weird and not good. There was one from back in the day. I think it was an NES version where you have like a tiny little Superman yeah. with a giant head. We looked at it. Yeah, yeah that was a and good you gotta one. You got to take the subway. It's yeah, you got to take the subway. Sometimes you're Superman. Sometimes you just can't be Superman. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes you just can't go into a door. That's how games were. That's right. Captain America. Uh, is it Captain America in the the Doom Tube of Doctor Megaloman from 1987 on the Commodore 64? I've never played it, but yes, that's the answer. Yeah, because that sounds incredible. <laughs> There's also- just, a, just a great mishmash of well, we can't use any. We've only paid for the Captain America license. We can't. We can't use anything else. Let's invent. What was his name? Megaloman. Megaloman. Megalobolt. I say that now, but this probably was a real Megaloman. No doubt. You're going to get a million comments, but luckily we already know. We already know that, so yeah. it's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so you could look to fighting games. Mm. Avengers in the Galactic Storm. We've looked at that one. <laughs> did we release that one? I we think did. That's yeah, all that, that we that did. One okay. Actually came out. Marvel v. Capcom. There's a mm-hmm. lot of those where he's, he's in there and he's doing some action. Look, we've, you've mentioned shields. those. I, I feel those they should be disallowed because they're not. Okay. It's not a solo game. Does that right? mean that like Injustice needs to be? We need to retroactively pick a different to the Superman NES game, game where he's got okay, a little body and a giant head. Yes. Okay, well then for me it comes down to Captain America Super Soldier, which has got Arkham-esque combat. And some uh, no longer in continuity stuff, yeah, like some villains and things like that. But it's it's an okay game out of all of those games, including mm-hmm. Iron Man and Thor and whatever. It's the one yeah. that's it's decent. Mm-hmm. But for me, and again, we, this didn't mean to be a video where we're just plugging other videos, but Captain <laughs> America and the Avengers Arcade, not the one that came to home consoles, but that arcade system where we've got a full playthrough is incredible. And the characters that turn up and the, the different people you can be, and it's just a... It's a real good, fun time. And that's at the right. end, you, you fight the villain on the moon, and it's just, it's crazy. It's an insane game. That is, yeah, that's a good one. Again, like, but it has ba- flesh colored vision, so boo. That's but, right. Uh, other than that, that's a good one. Like, pure, pure comic book nonsense, which I enjoyed. But for me, it's always going to be Nintendo's Nintendogs Frisbee game, but you pretend it's Captain America's Shield. Wow. Mm. Isn't that a fighting game? Because you're constantly fighting with that dog. <laughs> so, well, if you play it like How I'd... did you make the dog turn on you? It's not even possible. <laughs> what did you do? Oh. Yeah, so you think it's that? Yeah. Uh, Aquaman, there's one solo game. We could do Justice League Task Force. Again, we've looked at that, but oh, yeah. there is Aquaman Battle for Atlantis. I've never played or seen anything about that. But he's also in Fortnite or whatever, so maybe you could, <laughs> right, you could say yeah. that. Battle for Atlantis is like the Superman 64 of Aquaman games. <sighs> yeah. They better not have put that on the box. <laughs> He's got beakers and, yeah, but they're filled with air because he's underwater. He's they're filled with beer because <laughs> oh, he he's be. a cool dude. <laughs> it would be, wouldn't he? And his sweater vest has a skull on it. <laughs> yeah, that is him. Speaking of, we can do some Punisher stuff, but uh, before we do that, the big cheese, Batman. <laughs> we have so many options to choose from here That's from right. multiple eras. Batman Returns on the Atari Lynx. My fave. Batman Returns on the PC, which was a weird point-and-click adventure game, Boom. which I liked. Batman on the Amiga 500, your favourite. Oh, my God, that's a good one. Yeah. There's a bunch of beat em ups in the 90s, like your Batman Returns. There's the Adventures of Batman and Robin. You mentioned Telltale. He has his own Telltale game. Uh, but really, it comes down to which is your favorite Arkham game. Yeah, it <laughs> is, isn't it? it? Yeah. That's what it kind of comes Look, for down me, to. it's probably Arkham Asylum. Yes. Because it feels like just one ongoing adventure. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people like Arkham City because yep. it's got it's a, it's a bigger, wider world. You can go anywhere, you can do anything. But for me, that kind of cuts down. It, it makes it less of a story and more of a like like a lot of fetch quests. Yeah. Again, not to say they're not both great. No, absolutely. I think I am going to say Arkham City. I was going to say Asylum because I love the narrative being so focused. But mm. and you're in that that smaller area, and you know there's kind of more detective stuff sort of going on. It's mostly finding question marks. <laughs> but then I went, oh, the, the, the gliding mechanic, yeah. mm-hmm. of the Arkham City. That I, I really enjoyed that element. And I think all in all, I found the story of the second one. And the twists and turns in that really, really mm. interesting. And that game's nearly 10 years old now, so I'll try not to spoil it. But, you know, I don't mind Arkham Origins. I think it's got some good boss battles. I also don't mind Arkham Knight, despite yep. mm-hmm. it's a bunch of stuff I do not like about that game. <laughs> but for me, it's Arkham City, and a, but a very close second, well, the one that you said. But I think there we've just covered all the bases, so everybody must agree with us there. Exactly. Got some honorable mentions here. All right. Uh, there's some Punisher arcade games. Yeah. There's that shoot 'em up where you're with Nick Fury or whatever. Yeah, yeah. That one. It was Punisher on the NES where it was like a third person shooter game and you had to play it like you're moving oh, yeah, a mouse we around. Did that but one, that was, didn't we? Yeah, maybe, yeah. Awful. Yeah. But of course, there's the Punisher on the PlayStation 2, uh-huh. which is you just run it through cracked ends. 
with shotguns. Nice. It's kind of fun, that one. Bam, 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 bam. It's me, the Punisher. Bam. <laughs> and you can do like super Punisher kills or whatever and things like that. Oh, yeah, you can like buzz through a guy's face off. Yeah, yeah, things like that. There's the Lego Marvel DC games. We made the mistake of not mentioning that when we did this for Star Wars. Oh, I see. like, what about Lego Star Wars? And I'm like, yeah, I like them, but they're not my favorite. So, well, yes. just to be clear... James likes these and they are his favourites. Correct. So. Unless they're not your favourite. Mm, that's case, right. I agree with you. But if people have any favourites from any of these categories or just a favourite in general, please let us know. What I think is really interesting about these characters is there's so much There's so much you can do in so many directions you can go that eventually you just get good stuff. You know it's I mean? true. It's a- you might get a crap... Iron Man 3 mobile endless runner game or whatever. Uh-huh. But then you might get Iron Man 2 on the PlayStation 3, which is also terrible. But then you might get Iron Man VR, a game for... People who have millions of dollars to spend on VR equipment. That's right. And say it's fine. Yeah, that's right. They say it's fine. But then you might get Marvel's The Avengers. And people, they, they don't like it that much. And maybe it's <laughs> maybe maybe the final version will be good. You know? Maybe, yeah. Maybe yeah. they fixed it in that month yeah. from the beta. <laughs> Right. Really fixed everything in it. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, this has been a video. We do videos here all the time, don't we? Probably That's too right. many. Uh, we actually have a bunch of videos coming up for the DC Fandome event. That's right. Including the new video games that are going to be revealed. So come back and be like, what do these guys think of it? If I mean, you know, you have your own opinions. Why are these characters all wearing so many sweater vests? <laughs> Because they saw this video and they were inspired. That's right. They that knew that, that was everything. the key to success. Yeah. Uh, also, of course, we have a podcast called The Weekly Planet where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. It comes out every Monday morning. We do the news of the week. We do a topic. We do movie news. Sometimes a bit of video games, comics, TV shows. You wouldn't believe what's going on there. You'd believe it. You could believe it. It's, yeah, pretty, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's what we just said then. You, exactly. you, you get it. You understand words. But thanks for watching this video. We appreciate it. Grab that gem, you guys. We will see you next week. Goodbye.